this past weekend, a mate of mine put in a monster order with the always wonderful Wonder Beyond. And that little, or not so little session, propelled them right to the top of my craft beer pops. So huge shout out to Hammy, I'll leave a link for his Insta in the description. Check him out, as you can see, he comes up with some really cracking pieces. I dare say that some of them are even better than the actual official stuff. But anyway, he popped round with 18 absolute monsters. I'm talking Impy Berliners, Impy Sours, Impy Stouts, and of course my very favourite, the Impy Milkshakes. Guys, I don't think I can even tell you how phenomenal some of those milkshakes were and, and just how much I miss the days when the milkshake IPA was the hottest thing. But if there is one thing I love more than a good milkshake IPA, it's a good old chili beer. And today, that's exactly what we've got. So, here it is, and I am almost horrified to say this is one of the last remaining survivors from that fateful weekend. It's an imperial stout with smoked paprika and cayenne peppers. With a little hint of vanilla and cacao nibs, this should be an absolute treat. As well as making phenomenal brews, Wonder Beyond have some of the most beautiful can art going. And this one, it's no exception. And I'm willing to bet the stuff inside is equally as beautiful. But let's find out. Let's get pouring. So there's a lot of carbonation going on in here. It's a real lively one. Oh, and huge chocolatey notes right off the top. Pretty creamy in there as well. Yeah, getting a real chocolate cake vibe out of those aromas. Not getting a whole lot of those peppery notes. Maybe we'll fill them on the way down. Oh, now that, now that is really creamy, really chocolatey up top, and I can feel it as it's going down. It's warming as it goes all the way down. And it is really slick, oily in the mouth. And yeah, as well as that warming cayenne pepper, that spice, it must be coming from the paprika, it's really got that spiciness right in the back, quite peppery too. It really cuts through that big chocolatey cake vibe that you get up top. And only a few mouthfuls in, those spicy, peppery, Warming notes are really starting to dominate the entire thing. Those sweet and creamy notes of earlier, they're still just about there, but they are being edged ever so, ever so subtly out of the picture. And that dark chocolate, it's starting to take more of a hold. A little bit richer than it was before, balancing beautifully with those warming spices. And as some of that early carbonation has died away, the beer starts to get a little bit heavier. And I tell you what, next time I'm in Manchester, I'm making sure Wonder Beyond is my first stop off. I mean, you got to be some kind of idiot to miss them out. And although it is a big 11% impy, you know what? I could get through a few of these. And now we're down into the beer. Those warming chilli notes have remained an absolute force throughout. I am loving it. It's really hiding that weight of alcohol really, really well. And it's giving a little 
buzz to keep you going through. And those early creamy notes have now melded into the chocolate to give it an almost chocolate brownie feel. And I'm not gonna lie, I even pause recording here so I could quickly check online to see if I could get myself another can. With Christmas coming up, this is almost the perfect beer for it. But to my absolute horror, you can only get this beer in the Mega Pack. So guys, let's get on to Wonder Beyond, get them to re-release this bad boy for Christmas. So up top, this really did surprise me some. I just wasn't expecting it to be quite so creamy, or as sweet, or as, dare I say, marshmallowy as it was to begin with. There is a nice slice of dark chocolate in there too. A little bit rich, but also a little blunted by those early sweet notes. But that of course wouldn't last as that cayenne starts tickling its way down and that old familiar warmth starts to take hold. And from then on, those spicy and chilly notes really start to dominate. And to be fair, they never really relinquish. And that is in part aided by its slick and oily body, which coats the mouth and just lingers there long, long after. But those chocolate notes do make a bit of a reappearance and they started to feel more chocolate brownie like at this stage. And that's pretty much how the beer remains to the end. Now I did give up a little on my beer rating system, but I tell you what, god damn, I'm bringing it back for this. Because as far as I'm concerned, this was an absolute treat. And I know for some this isn't going to tick all their boxes, but for me, this is something of my dreams. It has those big chocolatey and creamy notes to start with, and then the pepper starts to take hold, and hey, I was in heaven. And for a big MP11 percenter, there was never a point where I felt like I was being blown over. It was just an easy drink from start to finish. And the only disappointing thing I can say is I may never see it again. So guys, let's get on to Wonder Beyond. Let's get them to bring this bad boy back for Christmas.